1897, a group of British military in a repressor attack passed through Ugotan community to invade Benin City. Let's now go through this route to see the river with which they have sailed through to get access to the ancient Benin Kingdom during the reign of Oba Ovorame. Ugotan community is located between Ugbine and Gelegele in Ovia Northeast local government area of those states, and one can also assess the community through Upper Ekewan Road. According to indigenous of Ugotan, the community was founded by Prince Ikaladera. The community was formerly known as Igwi Kaladera before it was changed to Ugotan or Guato. Ikaladera was the only son of Oba Ewedu of Ogiso dynasty, who later moved to Ileife and became the only of Ife. While at Ugotan, Prince Ikaladera had a cock who possessed a mystical past which he used in protecting the community from attacks and other social vices. The Ugotan River, which is close to the Gilegele seaport, is where the British forces passed through by means of a ship to invade Benin City, which was during the reign of Oba Ovorame. At this river, now Ibo pass, enter Benin. Who they pass, come, 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 this river, now they pass, come. One of the elders of the community, Chief Amos Osakwe, said upon the arrival of the British military at Uwoton, they made the palace of Onhenokun of Uwoton community, their military base, where they fired all sorts of missiles into Benin. Chief Amos Osakwe said the military remained at the community for about four years, initiated different strategies to strike the palace of the Oba of Benin, while the locals were afraid of the fierce-looking military. The wreckage of the ship, which the military used as a means of transportation to assess Ugotan, is still in the custody of the community, including the weapons they used in shooting from Ugotan, which is several kilometers to Benin City. This is the machine gun, as the only, only term for the white man. The thing that says that the white man was using to shoot a gun to the Benin City. This day, we now went to inside the river to call instructions of it. At that time, in case of historians, people that take history, students came to take it. Chief Osakwe said the British soldiers decided to be firing from Ugonton because it was difficult for them to invade Benin City through that route as the Benin warriors were stationed around the Asoro Hill on the Kenwan Road down to Uloko Zomo, now known as a hike man, to prevent the invasion of the palace of Yoruba of Benin at Ogbe. When the white men were coming to make a trip to the, to the Benin, you know, this is the access road from the river. So when the white men get here, they will wash their leg. Before they put them in Amoko. What is Amoko? Uh, Amoko, it be like a sleepy share. We will not, the Bini does not allow their leg to touch the right from here to the Bini. It is that uh, vision of uh, Bini Kido, when the white men call the Kalidali. But yeah, they took it away? Yes. The people of Ugonton, who are predominantly farmers, may have moved on from the terror they experienced during the British invasion, which took over the place, but the community still plays a significant role in modern-day Bini culture and tradition. For instance, the community has an elder's chambers where a Bini prince, till date, must visit to receive a title before becoming an Edaike of Uselu, proceeding his coronation as the Oba of Benin. The 40th Oba of Benin, His Royal Majesty L.Y. II, for instance, also visited the elders' chambers at Uwanto community before his coronation ceremony in 2016. The new school were also taken to the exact spot where the Benins and British officials carried out trade by butter, which was first done by Oba Esigie. Despite this historical background of Ugotan community and all the clamor to diversify the nation's economy through culture and tourism, the people of Ugotan are still waiting for government's intervention to develop the community. This is an oil well that was drilled in 1966 right here in the Ugonton community. As a community that has these natural resources, one would expect that it will be very developed, so much so that those in the community will be proud to say they are oil producing community. We want the government to help us, give us a, a better light, better water, and better uh, road. Today, I can say there's no government intervention here. Any present government that called that uh, they want to make a those state to be tourist attractions. This is supposed to be the first attraction for the whole Binikido. To even talk of the gateway to heaven, 
which other people foreigners used to come to or to, to watch. This is the gate, the gateway to heaven. What is it called? Ikenonu Bodi, the gateway to heaven. As is obtainable in the Western world, tourism is a major source of revenue, and is expected that government at all levels would promote culture and tourism, beginning with Ugonton community. Best Mbere reporting.